clay. Uh, the bricks are just made out of clay. Just dig it out of the ground and make it into a brick. That's so all any, that goes into making it. Any clay, you don't have to add anything to it? Don't have to add anything to it. The only thing we're adding to it is water. So what these uh, convicts are going to be doing down here for us, um, convict laborers, not, not so uncommon in brickyards, uh, they are walking through the clay to get it to the right consistency where we've added water to it. And that's it. That's all that goes into the brick. Up on the table, Tom's coating it with some dry sand, but that's simply to keep it from sticking to the mold that we're using here. And the inside of the mold is also usually dusted with some, with some dry sand as well. From here, he'll carry the bricks out to dry in the sun. A couple of days from now, those bricks will be pretty well dried out. We'll go ahead and move them into the big shed in the back where they continue to dry, but you don't have to worry about rain anymore. But then eventually everything will get fired in a, in a kiln, sort of, in, uh, kiln sort of thing. Uh, we'll go ahead and warp and shrink and crack because they're so hard and brittle. On the other end, if the clay is very lean or very thin, it has a lot of sand in it, naturally. And will be a very easy clay to make into a brick, but you'll never be able to make really a good hard brick out of it because you'll never be able to fire it hard. But most clays are in that in-between. Whose labor or whose job is to make sure there is always clay on the table to make it to a So they would be working the clay with their feet, getting the surface to do it. They would be cleaning the clay and then bringing more clay in the middle. Can I wash off? Then you don't want to make it. The more you switch it, the better you are doing the work that Tom is often done by a slave to jump. One person standing here is trying to jump. Sort of architectural change. You know, using glazed bricks decoratively, sort of an early building, not decoratively, kind of a later building. I noticed on the fences, a brick fence, that there's a curved brick on the top. Will you have a form of yeah. those? Yeah, that's, that's the, the mold right here. We're making those what are called coping bricks, those half rounds. And the reason you use a half round brick on top of something like a brick fence is so it sheds water. So you don't have a place, a flat surface where water would collect on top. It simply runs down the side of the wall. So that would be this brick right there. Just line them up, boom, 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 We're all along the top of the wall so the water just has a place to run off. That's all that is. So. Normally, the whole kiln gets torn down. So you build it, you fire it, and then you tear it all down. Because more than likely, you're not going to be on this site next year making bricks again. You're going to be moving somewhere else. Brick making is a mold. You can make bricks very easy. You don't have to move them when they're all finished. Um, so yeah. what we're telling you is don't fire it in the whole thing. Now, we don't move our brick around. This is where they're going to fire the Bricks. They build a structure made up of all these bricks, and then you see those those uh, those holes. One, two, three, four. Those become tunnels, and they're going to burn a fire in them. First day, they keep it kind of uh, not too hot. Um, oh, incidentally, you see they put mud all over the outside of this structure, and they crisscross these bricks. See how the, this one is lengthwise, and then these are crosswise. You can see there's different layers of them. Um, and there's the channel for the heat. They cook them for like four days. It's called firing the bricks. And then it takes at least that amount of time for them to cool off. And you have bricks to build all kinds of things. See the wood. This is just a clay from working. This is a clay right here. And working just means walking around. Going Griffin. slow and steady for a few times. Well, this is like squishing the bricks. Uh, it's like really squishy. Squishy? Does, is it sharp on your feet or is it soft? Yes, it's soft. Is it heavy? Yeah, it's hard to get my feet out. And like, yeah, everything's salvageable, yeah. salvageable to a point. I mean, in, a, in brick God. construction, there's always half, quarters, thirds pieces to make up these funky gaps and spaces that you get. So a lot of it just could get used up in construction. Um, with the better fired, the harder fired bricks, um, you can use them for paving. Uh, you'll see what's called brick bat paving. Brick bat just meaning broken bricks. Um, so for like a workspace or maybe a floor and a...